Get a lot headed your way. First, though, there is pretty big uproar right now about video posted online here of D.C. police arresting two men in southeast last night. Now, the men in the video are now charged with threatening and assaulting police officers. But a city council member says what he sees in the video is excessive force. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Charlotte McBride and I'm Adam Longo. This happened on Santon Road near Mississippi Avenue Southeast, and the men are now in D.C. Superior Court. Straight out live to Bruce Lashan outside of the courthouse of so Bruce. What are you hearing about all this? Hey, Adam, both men evaluated by doctors at the hospital, but then sent here to court where a judge just ordered both of them released pending trial one to home detention. It's really the first moments of this 52 second video that may be the most shocking. So watch closely. <laughs> Right at the start of the video, an officer throws 23-year-old Tyjon Jackson against a wrought iron fence. The crowd furious, Jackson moaning in pain. 30-year-old Tawan Coleman stumbles into the scene. Police say an officer tries to extract his foot. Critics say he kicked him. 41 seconds in, someone appears to punch a police officer. I got 15 calls last night. Amina Saladin is Coleman's mother. I was horrified as a mother. I couldn't believe what I saw. Who will protect and serve our community? Now here's what police say happened. They say they came out here for the sound of gunshots. And when they got here, they say they found a stolen car. As they were looking at that car, they say a group of men approached one of them, they say, threatened to smack a female police officer. At that point, another officer took the man and threw him up against this fence and took him into custody. You can see it uh, on the videotape. And as they were detaining him, according to police, another man came up and assaulted, they say, and tried to strangle some of the officers. I haven't seen anything to suggest that the person strangled an officer. I haven't seen that. D.C. Council member Trayon White says what he sees from officers in the video is unacceptable. I don't think that we provide training or give authority to an officer to kick somebody in the face. Absolutely not. Now, police internal affairs investigating this whole incident, but the chief said this morning that he had not seen any anything so far, or had any information that would lead him to change the status of the officers who were involved in this. They remain on duty at this point, despite one, what some community activists are demanding. Adam and Charlotte, back to you. Yeah, some legitimate questions of Bruce have been raised and they need to be addressed by uh, Metropolitan Police sooner rather than later, for sure. Bruce, thank you.